This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything, even the Fusion Strike stuff. So be sure to head over to the website PoTownStore.com and use that coupon code ZABDOCCG for 5% off. Also, head over to cardsmarket.com. If you're a European player, this website is fantastic. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to buy new ones. Use the referral name ZabdoCCG and you're helping out the channel tremendously. Last but certainly not least is uh, yourplaymat.com. This website is fantastic when you create your own unique custom playmat. They ship worldwide and uh, of course, right now you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So start creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season. So thanks for sticking with the commercials let's get this video on a roll peace What's up with you? It's Zabdoist TCG here and welcome back to our TCG deck profile video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss a single upload. We are still exploring some brilliant stars decks and of course this uh, Durant deck actually from Battle Styles becomes so much better with brilliant stars. Let's just take a look at the deck and what's gonna be all in here. First let's just talk about Durant in general. This is going to be a different win condition in the past. We uh, yeah we have of course different win conditions. You can knock out the opponents active and they don't have a bench Pokemon is a win condition. You can can take all your six prize cards is a win condition but there's also the win condition if the opponent cannot draw a card during their uh, yeah turn if they start their turn and they cannot draw a card they are actually uh, losing the game instantly so you're gonna be uh, yeah running on that win condition and you're gonna be trying to mill the opponent's deck with Durant uh, we're gonna be talking about all these cards in this list and uh, the new cards that are included from Brilliant Stars. If you guys are hyped for it, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button because uh, this is going to be a deck that you never want to be facing off against if you don't know how to play against it so Four copies of the rent is just mandatory. You're gonna be able to use the uh, Devour attack here and it actually states for every Durant in play, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So if you have four of them in play, you're gonna be milling four cards from the opponent's deck. There's also tool cards allowing you to discard more cards if you get knocked out. So you're, uh, yeah, in theory, gonna be milling a lot of cards every single turn. You want to have, of course, these four Durants in your deck. This is also a budget deck. So uh, as we've talked about uh, with Malamar, you don't always need the big money to just play the game. There's, this is also a very unique deck because it runs on a different win condition. And if you are gonna be mastering Durant, you want to have some ways uh, to just know how to play the deck. And that's also uh, something that this video is good for. Okay, moving forward, we're gonna be running a two two line uh, of the new Bibarel so we have Bidoof, uh, 70 HP Bidoof and uh, there's also the Bibarel here with the hard working fangs. Once during your turn you may draw cards until you have five cards in hand reminds us of Octillery with a vital hand and I think in this deck it's pretty good we're not going to be running uh, two prize Pokemon in this deck whatsoever this will force the opponent to take six prize cards and actually that's going to be taking quite a little bit of time because we have some uh, disruptive elements in our deck. So uh, this does have a two retreat cost you can get out of the active position by just attaching an energy and retreating. You could be using scoop up net, you could be using bird keeper. So if they want to trap it, either they, if they don't knock it out, it's going to be good because you have ways to get it out. And if they do knock it out, you don't lose a Durant. So that's very good as well. So a 2-2 line of the Bibarel. And I think Bibarel will help out the deck quite significantly. We have Ultra Ball to search it out. We can, of course... Um, get the Bidoofs back with Rescue Carrier as well if they get knocked out early game. So there's a lot of great things to love about the Bibarel engine because it doesn't take up too much space in the deck. Moving forward, there's still two more Pokemon in here and that's going to be uh, Oranguru and Manaphy. Uh, before I actually uh, yeah, tested this list, I actually was running only the Manaphy here. So you have a higher outs of the uh, Durant. But uh, since we included Bird Keeper and some Scoop Up Nuts, I, I think it's uh, just a mandatory to just Definitely having the, the Manaphy here to protect your bench. That means, as mentioned, they will need to take six KOs and they cannot take uh, multiple KOs because stuff like Jolton will hate Manaphy and with the high amount of Rescue Carrier, we do have ways to get Manaphy back time and time and time again. Same goes for uh, stuff like a Rapid Strike, Urshifu VMAX. So you definitely need a Manaphy to protect your Durant. And there's also the Oranguru. Why is Oranguru in here? Primate Wisdom is nice to protect yourself from nasty Marnie plays, but it's definitely here to save your energies. Sometimes you have like three uh, twin energies or uh, in the hand or uh, in combination with like double turbo energies. You want to be protecting energies before you use research. Why are we 
we still running research in this deck? I really want to be going very aggressively going second so we can definitely start milling already. So uh, that's the reason why Orangu is in here. It's just to protect some resources and it's always nice to protect yourself from Marnie as well. And uh, before you research, you can just put something on top of the deck. There's also an additional uh, dig potential. Let's say you research and you have not used Primate Wisdom. You can dig for an additional card to just maybe find that key card you were looking for. Then we're going to be running four copies of research. I've seen a lot of Durandalists not running research at all and just uh, going straight for uh, uh, with cards like Shauna, cards like uh, a high amount of Bruno and the new Cynthia. But I'm still a huge fan of research just because uh, if you go second and you research, you can find a lot of Durands because you have Quick Ball, Lava Ball, Ultra Ball on top of, of course, having a high amount of these special energies to use Devour. So uh, that's going to be awesome. I know you uh, give up on some resources here and there, but with a high amount of Rescue Carry, you can get some uh, stuff back like your Manaphy if you don't want to be benching it right away. There's also ways you can get back your special energy, and that's with the Roseanne's backup, which we're going to be talking about very shortly. But I think four copies of research is just nice and here uh, I, I love uh, actually uh, very being I'm an aggressive player to be honest I don't care about losing too many resources and you just want to be digging to your deck to find all of your Durants and uh, that's gonna be helping you out quite a bit so as you can see here uh, the only Pokemon you have is a Bibberol line <laughs> Oranguru Manaphy a card you might think about like let's say uh, you definitely want to have like a two prizer if you want to have it one in here there's could be uh, Zacian with Intrepid Sword is a nice include uh, other cards you might think about is maybe one Crobat V in that situation because you do have Quick Balls and, uh, of course, Ultra Ball to find the Acrobat. And if you're stuck in certain scenarios, you could use that to draw yourself back up. But uh, in this budget deck, I didn't include any of these. Moving forward, two copies of Bruno. Uh, as I was saying here, Bruno is a nice card because you don't discard your resources. So what does that mean is that if a Pokemon gets knocked out, you shuffle your hand to your deck, draw seven. If nothing gets knocked out, you only get four. And I don't like the four aspect too much, so that's why there's still a higher amount of research in here just to uh, dig for those special energies. Then there's a couple of one-off supporters, which we're gonna be talking about here. And uh, these are interesting ones. Uh, there's still two more draw supporters in here. We have the Cynthia's Aspiration, very similar to Bruno, but you uh, don't shuffle your hand. This allows you to, of course, uh, draw cards until you have five in hand. But if somebody got knocked out, you can draw cards until you have eight cards in hand. Why are we not running more Cynthia's Aspiration? Well, that's where the researches come in handy. And also, why are we running Bruno in the first place? The Bruno will allow you to shuffle your hand if you are clunked up with too many cards that you don't want to discard. There's also the Bird Keeper. The one of Bird Keeper allows you to, of course, get Biberel or uh, maybe the Oranguru out of the active position. We're not running Air Balloon, so uh, we're going to be resorting to uh, Scoop Up Net or Bird Keeper to get us out of that situation. Then there's the new Roseanne's backup, which actually gets you a lot of stuff back from your discard pile. You can get uh, a Pokemon back to shuffle back into the deck. You can get a tool card back. You can get a stadium card back and an energy card. It does not specify basic energy, so you can get special energy back, which is actually all we want here. So you can get a Gallarmine back. You can get a shovel, uh, a curse shovel back. You can get a Durand back as well as an energy card. So and also you can also get back uh, a Bibarel because uh, with Rescue Carrier you cannot get that back. So there's also that capability. And then there's a Peonia. This deck wants to have all Durants in play. So the problem is that sometimes a Durant or two might be priced. Uh, yes, and in most games, there won't be any priced. And uh, there's also cases where there's only one priced and then you can still play the game pretty uh, aggressively. So uh, with Peonia, you could actually get, a of course, look at the three prize cards and then just shuffle, uh, not shuffle, uh, yeah, replace them with three cards from your hand. That allows you to dig for cards in the prize cards because you're not taking any prize cards. So you definitely need at least one Peonia in your list. Then to finish off for the supporter lineup, we have three copies of Balsas Ors. You definitely need Balsas Ors because that's one of your main win conditions. You're gonna be trapping opponents with Galar Mine. You can trap a Pokemon with a high retreat cost. You have some hammers to slow them down and keep them stuck in the active position. And then you're gonna be milling a lot of resources. Sometimes you just use um, the mill attack of the Durant, the Devour attack, and out of nowhere you discard like Air Balloon, Switch, Switch, that is possible. So if they're stuck in the active, you're gonna be winning games. Also, uh, probably the win condition against decks like Mew Max. You just uh, gust up their Genesex, they're gonna be trapped, you're gonna be using Crushing Hammer on them, and uh, if they somehow miraculously get out of the active, you can just uh, boss it up again, which is awesome. Then for the uh, item cards, we're gonna be running uh, four copies of Level Ball. It searches out almost anything in the deck except for Oranguru and Bibarel, so that's very awesome. You can find your Durants instantly with this, as well as your Bibidoof. Four copies of that. 
Moving forward, four copies of the Quick Ball. Very, very nice. Quick Ball is also allowing you to get fetch a basic Pokemon. So on top of the Lava Balls, on top of the uh, uh, Quick Balls, on top of the four copies of Research, you probably have uh, four Durants out by turn two, which is super awesome. And then there's still two copies of Ultra Ball on top of this. These Ultra, these Ultra Balls can fetch out Bibarel. That's why they're in here, but can also uh, yeah empty your hand so you can utilize the hardworking Fangs from Bibarel more uh, significantly. Could also search out Durant in the early phases before you use research. Then there's three copies of Crushing Hammer. I want to add a fourth copy, but I couldn't find the room. Maybe you guys could find the room for me. So uh, three copies. Why are Crushing Hammers in here? Let me just specify that you can use Boss's Orders to trap an opponent, and then they suddenly have a retreat cost of four, but they will <laughs> yeah, stack up energies on that Pokemon to then retreat. Right? If they have Switch, they're probably going to use Switch first, but then you can use Boss's Orders again to keep them trapped again, and then they're going to be attaching manual energies. To just prevent them from retreating, you can use Crushing Hammer to slow them down, and Crushing Hammer also slows down a, a lot of decks that use two energies to attack with, so that's uh, the reason why they are in here, just slowing the opponent down so you have more time to mill them. Four copies of the Rescue Carrier. Rescue Carrier is awesome because you can get back two Durants or you can get back, uh, yeah, Bibarel, actually the Bidoof and the Mananfi as well with this, but this allows you to get back two Durants. Time and time again, if a Durant gets knocked out, you can get it back time and time again because you want to be milling four cards every single turn, which is going to be the key to success. Then, two copies of the Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net is interesting because you can actually uh, get a Durant back in your hand. This also is a, a kind of a card that I utilized in testing against Galarian Weezing. So if you're also poisoned, you can uh, you use Devour, you get poisoned, and then you can also scoop them up so the poison is gone. That's also something I noticed here. Uh, but uh, Scoop Up Net will mostly be used when Oranguru or Bibarel are trapped in the active. You can get them out with Scoop Up Net. So there's two copies of that in here. Then also two copies of the Yellhorn. Yellhorn is a card you don't see every day, but this is very cool. Both active Pokemon are now confused. You can, you're, you're going to be pairing this with the scoop up nets to just make sure the opponent is confused and uh, this is going to be the case when the opponent says, oh, I'm up against the brand, I'm not going to be benching anything and just attack with my active Pokemon. Well, with Yellhorn, they will be confused and uh, if they are confused, they only have a 50% chance of landing a successful attack and uh, if they flip tails, they slap themselves in the face, which is hilarious. But uh, you definitely want to have these as an out because uh, clever people will not bench a whole heap of Pokemon that you can trap. Uh, so there's uh, the Yellhorn, so play them with the bird. Keeper or scoop up net, or uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Then there's also one copy of the Echoing Horn. You might think, why the hell is this card in here? Well, the cool thing is you're milling cards, right? So uh, the ran just uh, munching away at the opponent's deck. That's very cool. Sometimes you discard a very interesting Pokemon that has a high retreat cost. Then you can use Echoing Horn to put that basic Pokemon on the bench, use Boss's orders to trap it, and slap down Gallarmine, and they're gonna be stuck because a lot of decks. Uh, will not slap down a lot of basic Pokemon and uh, you want to be trapping opponents so one copy of Echoing Horn. I really love it in this deck by the way. Has saved me a card list of times with of course uh, testing. Then there is the Tool Scrapper. You need this to slap off Air Balloons. Air Balloons is something that you don't want to be ever seeing because of the fact you're running Galar Trap and mechanics with Galar Mine and Boss Doors. You don't want Air Balloons so you want to knock them off with Tool Scrapper. That's the reason it is in here. Then Yes, there's going to be four copies of this card. Look at this. It's Cursed Shovel. Cursed Shovel is an interesting tool card. And if it's attached to a Pokemon, and if you get knocked out by an attack from an opponent, uh, you're actually going to be discarding two more cards from the opponent's deck. So in theory, let us say, Durant has one of these fantastic uh, Cursed Shovels. Well, uh, if they knock you out, they discard two cards from the deck. And you also have Devour to discard four cards. So in theory, you could be milling six cards a turn which is very cool because they always draw a card during their beginning phases of the turn so that's super awesome okay then there will be three copies of Gallarmine. Gallarmine is a very cool stadium card allowing of course everyone in play to have an additional retreat cost so uh, both active pokemon have two more retreat costs that means a Ranguru has a four retreat cost. That means opponents with a high retreat cost are also going to be trapped. And as I mentioned, you want to boss or something with a high retreat cost, make it trapped and use uh, Devour time and time and time and time again until the opponent says like, well played, <laughs> right? So uh, three copies of the Galar Mine in here. 
Then to finish off the energy lineup, in theory I had like eight energies in here. Now I actually reduced it to seven because the Roseanne's backup can get back one, uh, yeah, one of these energies. So we're gonna be running four copies of twin energy. Uh, this is a, just a double cars energy, but only can it be equipped to Pokemon uh, that are, uh, yeah, not V Pokemon or GX. So uh, <laughs> this is just for your, your Pokemon. You could, as mentioned, utilize this to retreat uh, a Bibarel or an Oranguru as well if the uh, Galar Mine has been overlapped. Don't forget about that, but. Uh, most of the time you will be using scoop up nets for that situation. And then to finish off, three new double turbo energies. Same story as two energy, but you uh, do 20 less damage to the opponent's active. You're never uh, doing out dishing out damage any anyhow, so it's just fantastic in this list. And this is going to be my current Durant mill list from uh, Brilliant Stars. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It helps out so much. I do a lot of testing with uh, all of these decks that I create and hopefully you guys will test out Durant as well. How do you feel about Durant? What would you personally change? Are you a fan of the uh, research in this list? Are you a fan of Biberel? Let me know your opinion down below because we want to, of course, perfect the Durant mill list. And I think this is a, a great starting point for you guys to test out how strong mill actually can be. If opponents don't know how to play against mill, they're probably gonna be losing. And that's uh, the fun fact about playing an underdog deck. This is uh, not the most popular deck out there, so you could be surprising a lot of opponents. Anyhow, this was Zablis TCG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Go check out our sponsors, PotownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use, of course, that sweet coupon code Zablis TCG for a whopping 5% of your order. There's also CardMarket.com for European players. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Super nice, so uh, utilize the referral name Zablis TCG. Last but not least, yourplaymat.com gets you covered. If you are interested in creating your own unique custom playmat, click the link down below and you're gonna be able to get 10% off when creating your own unique custom playmat and they ship worldwide, so don't worry about that aspect. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic day. Try out this mill deck, it's a lot of fun and uh, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.